On March 25, 2012, the Gallery of Caribbean Art, located in Spite Sound, Barbados, will host a unique and exciting art show, one that will feature paintings from three generations of the same family. Jill Walker, her daughter Sue True, and Sue's daughter Holly. It is surely a first for the island to have such an extraordinary family show with three such talented artists. And for Jill, it is a thrill to see the continuation of her life's passion. Jill studied at the Royal Academy Schools and the Old Vic Theatre School in London and exhibited at the Royal Society of Portrait Painters. She and her husband Jimmy married and settled in Barbados in 1960 and Jill began painting her colourful surroundings, recording a lifestyle that is slowly disappearing. She had set out exhibitions of her oils and watercolours at the Mill Reef Club in Antigua and the Sandy Lane Hotel in Barbados. She became known for her detailed architectural watercolours and her much admired prints of Barbados and the other Caribbean islands. In 1975, Jill and Jimmy founded the Best of Barbados gift shops and Jill began enthusiastically to design a wide variety of decorative gift items, all with a Barbadian theme. In January 2001, she was delighted to be awarded the Barbados Centennial Honour for her services to arts and business. And the next year, she published her autobiography, Jill Walker's Byratus, a beautiful book with numerous sketches and paintings. Jill, now in her 80s, still paints daily. Jill's daughter Sue was born in Byratus and from an early age immersed herself in the creative environment around her. She and her husband, Chris True, joined the family business, the best of Byratus gift shops in 1990 and have developed the successful chain of quality souvenir gift shops. Now with her daughters grown up, Sue is able to spend more time painting and designing and is delighted to have introduced her own range of prints and giftsware into the shops. Living in Barbados, Sue is continually inspired to paint, working mostly in oils and watercolours, although she has recently been experimenting with lots of other techniques and is excited by her results. She is a versatile artist, always painting something new, changing her canvas size, her palette and her subject with every painting. Sue made her debut into the Barbados art scene in 2009 when she joined a group of local artists in an exhibition at the Tides Gallery, eagerly showing her talents to the local art-loving community. She's been delighted with the enthusiastic response so far. Sue's daughter Holly, at the young age of 17, was already making a name for herself in the Canadian art world. Her talent had been instantly recognised when she travelled to Vancouver Island for her last two years of school. Holly was selected as one of just seven to take part in the exhibition Youth Group of Seven, showcasing talented youth of the wider Victoria area. Later, at her school graduation, she was honoured for her breathtaking artwork, which hung throughout the school. Growing up in Barbados, Holly developed a great passion for the sea and her love for everything oceanic is reflected in her art, with inspiration gained from a nine-month voyage on a tall ship. She is currently studying marine biology at Dalhousie University in Halifax, Canada. Holly is a remarkable young lady with a strong vision and a zest for life that shines from her bold art. So make a note in your diary for Sunday the 25th of March 2012 between 11am and 3pm to visit the Gallery of Caribbean Art 
Spitestown Barbados for an exhibition that promises to be vibrant and colourful, demonstrating through skillful imagery the enthusiasm and love for art and Barbados that shines from this gifted family. The paintings will be available to buy on the 26th of March on www.bestofbarbados.com.